at least the possibility of hope exists. And that's a huge thing for Aberdeen. If you think that tomorrow might have be a little bit better than today, that changes everything in the way you get up in the morning. Yep. And that's why Rwanda, which burned to the ground, absolutely, you know, literally and figure, figuratively, and literally, literally, yes, um, has the highest is the one of the highest rated countries on the happiness index, not just in Africa but globally. Oh, interesting, that is wow, profound. That, yeah. One of the highest literacy rates, one of the highest uh, highest. Um, uh, let me sign, sign this because it'll end up with a ban, and that won't be good. Um, Rwanda, Rwanda, yeah, exactly, ban, ban of Rwanda. Um, uh, it, it, it has, um, it's the, one of the few African countries that have two things that is profound that you won't see in, in sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. One of them is streetlights. It has three things, excuse me, streetlights. Mm -hmm. There's streetlights on all the main artilleries. Show uh -huh. me any African country that has streetlights. Yeah, no. That the government uh -huh. would say, we're going to spend $50 million on streetlights. They wouldn't do it, number one. Number two is, is there, you, if you can find a stitch of paper you know, that big, anywhere in Kigali, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Well, wow. it doesn't exist. They all, they all clean. It's so clean. It's cleaner than any city in America. Mm -hmm. It's so clean. Show me an African city that's clean. Three is they invest in entertainment. They're building water slides, casinos, mm -hmm. night nightclubs. Wow. Now you only invest in entertainment when you, a you think you're going to get a return, and b you're going to have customers. The yep, customers yep. only can say, let's go out for a drink or let's go to a water slide this weekend with the kids when all of your needs are met, when you don't have to worry about next month. No, 